Hello, my name is Anoush. I'm a principal product manager at Snowflake and a lead security here. We keep hearing from our customers, how can they be assured that they're following the security best practices? Their concern about potential attacks against their accounts and account takeover. We are very happy to announce the availability of Trust Center in general availability. With Trust Center, you can quickly check to see if your account is following best practices and for those areas that are not compliant, you can quickly take action. All right, let me show you how easy it is to use Trust Center. You can start by navigating to Snow site, which is Snowflake native UI. You go under monitoring and then Trust Center. As soon as you go to this page, you quickly see a summary of the security violations that have happened over the past few days, categorized by how critical they are. This time series allows you to look at your compliance over time. Now, for each of these findings, there is a dedicated violation tab here. If you click on one of them, for example, ensuring that the multi-factor authentication is used for all users, um, you see a summary of remediation that we recommend and also the summary of the users who have actually violated the MFA requirement. In our case, we only have one user, but you can imagine this could be a long list of users. So what we do is that we allow you to run a worksheet if you click on this with a query that you can run on your own and get the full list of findings. Now for this specific case, when you see users that are not following the MFA requirement, we're very happy to also introduce a new set of policies that allows you to enforce MFA on those users. What we have done is that we have expanded our authentication policy with new fields. One is around MFA enrollment. So the Default behavior is optional, but you can move that to be required. And what that means is that for all the users in that account, if you decide to assign this authentication policy to the whole account, would be required to set up MFA and use it when accessing Snowflake. This is very important to make sure that you, know, you use a strong authentication for accessing your account. A second option that we also have introduced is a decision of whether you use, apply the multi-factor authentication to password logins or you can add SAML logins here too. And what that does is that it would enforce a Snowflake multi-factor authentication independent of what the user have done with your own IDP when getting the SAML token. This might be important for cases when you want to have a built-in and a defense in depth protection using a Snowflake multi-factor authentication in addition to what your IDP does. Anyway, so you can assign this authentication policy to, uh, to the whole account or to a specific user if you want to have that granular control. Coming back to Trust Center, you also see another gather here for network policy. So in this case, this account hasn't configured a network policy and that has resulted in, in a violation. Uh, network policies allows you to control connections that are connected to your Snowflake account. And by imposing certain restrictions, then you can and guaranteed about who can access your account. This is important, for example, if there is a compromised credential because it reduces the blast ratio of like where that credential can be used from. Now, these uh, two violations and you know, findings are coming from a scanner package called the Security Essentials. If you switch to the scanner package, you see two sets of built-in already available scanner packages. One is Security Essential that has two scanners. One looks for MFA and the other one looks for network policy. It is enabled by default and is free of charge for everybody to use. We also provide an optional CIS benchmark scanner package that allows you to look for compliance with the Snowflake CIS benchmark. The Snowflake CIS benchmark is a collection of 39 benchmarks that we produced and introduced about six months ago. And compliance with them allows you to have guaranteed about following security best practices. When you turn on the CIS benchmark, you can decide the frequency by which this uh, scanner runs. You can have options from hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, and even customize it. And by having more control over the frequency by which they run, you can have higher assurance of catching misconfiguration quickly. And once you do that, then those scanners will start running and start reporting their findings into the main page, as you see here. So now you have the full, if I were to focus on only CIS, you have the full set of findings for CIS 
that you can use to take actions. And this is very important because now you have a one click to, to detect whether you're following the best practices. And so, for example, if you look at this one, this one is saying that you need to follow, you know, set your AES encryption key to 256 bits. And it seems that for this account, that's not the case. So you can quickly take an action based on this specific command, run it, and off you go. So there you have it. Very simple way to detect whether you're following the security best practices, find all the violations, and quickly remediate them based on the trust center recommendation. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, please see the description below.